A warm greeting, today is Monday, September 4, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on the forecast related to Invest 95, which is close to becoming a tropical depression. I will be giving an update on the forecast in terms of its path, although it continues to be projected that the center of circulation should pass about 250 miles northeast of the Caribbean. However, we continue to monitor Invest 95 because it is anticipated to become a powerful Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane when it crosses into the Northeast Caribbean. Since we are talking about potentially a dangerous hurricane, it is always important for residents in the Eastern Caribbean, specifically the islands north of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, to stay very vigilant regarding its evolution in case there is any drastic change in the forecast. If we take a closer look at the visible satellite image, we can see that the circulation continues to show signs of strengthening. Today, we have also seen the development of some outer bands, which are indications that we are close to it becoming a tropical depression. In fact, at 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center confirmed that it already has a circulation center at low levels of the atmosphere. The only thing that remains is for it to develop strong thunderstorms over the center of circulation to be declared a tropical depression. If we look at the infrared satellite image, the center of circulation is located approximately in this area. You can see that it has started to generate some thunderstorms over the center of circulation. If this pattern continues, we will likely have a tropical depression or tropical storm lee by the morning hours of Tuesday. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the chances of it becoming a tropical depression to nearly 100% over the next seven days. They also raised the chances to 90% for it to become a tropical depression within the next 48 hours. Over the past 24 hours, it has continued to move generally westward. It is anticipated that it will soon take a more west-northwestward turn, as indicated by specialized path models. You can see that a west-northwestward movement is expected at least until Thursday, followed by a more northwestward movement, which would take the center of circulation of the future Hurricane Lee at a considerable distance northeast of the Caribbean, between 200 to 250 miles northeast of the Virgin Islands. Similarly, global models align with this forecast. There is a lot of consensus, which is favorable because it instills confidence in this forecast. At the moment, no significant changes are anticipated in these paths due to this high consensus. It is very likely that when we have a tropical depression, this will be the path marked by the National Hurricane Center. The cone of uncertainty is likely to remain outside the region of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, but we must await the official bulletin from the National Hurricane Center once Invest 95 is classified as a tropical depression. The models continue to predict rapid strengthening over the next five days. When it passes near the Northeast Caribbean, it is forecasted to be a powerful Category 4 hurricane or possibly nearing Category 5. Conditions will be so favorable in this area that the future Hurricane Lee will likely be the most powerful cyclone of this hurricane season. If it ultimately follows the path indicated by the model forecasts, it is definitely a significant relief for the Eastern Caribbean, as the passage of a hurricane of this category would certainly be catastrophic for the region. However, remain vigilant. Fortunately, the chances are very high that it will pass far northeast of the region. Let's see what the global models show. Let's start with the GFS model, which, as you know, in recent days has adjusted its forecast to be more similar to the European model. Finally, we have consistency in the runs of this model. You can see that it is forecasting that we will have a tropical depression or tropical storm lee by the morning hours of Tuesday. It will then continue its west-northwestward path while strengthening into a powerful Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane, passing about 250 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. According to the latest projection, it would be passing at its closest point during the night of Saturday or the morning of Sunday. It will then continue on that path northwestward and is expected to turn north, passing near Bermuda. Interests in Bermuda should pay attention to the evolution of the future Hurricane Lee. To give you an idea of how intense Hurricane Lee is anticipated to be, let's look at the infrared satellite projection according to the GFS model. You can see that when it crosses into the Northeast Caribbean, we are talking about a cyclone with a very impressive structure approaching Category 4 or even Category 5 hurricane status. Again, we will be very fortunate in the Northeast Caribbean if it follows the path indicated by the best models. Now, let's look at the forecast from the European model, which remains consistent in predicting the development of a tropical depression over the next 24 hours. It will then maintain a west-northwestward path, also passing about 250 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles, at a safe distance and in almost the exact location as the GFS model. It is worth mentioning that the European model even strengthens the future Hurricane Lee with a minimum barometric pressure of 917 millibars when it is located north of Puerto Rico during the morning hours of next Tuesday. 
this is possibly one of the most aggressive forecasts I have seen from the European model, and it gives us a clear idea of how favorable the conditions will be for the rapid strengthening of this cyclone. Let's also look at the predictions of other models. For example, the German model is currently the only one that brings the future Hurricane Lee close to the northeast of the Caribbean. However, the accuracy of this model is not as good as that of the European or GFS models. For now, we understand that this scenario should not occur, but it should still be a reason for us to continue monitoring, albeit calmly. Other models, like the Canadian model, have the hurricane passing about 200 miles northeast of the Caribbean. The UK model, UKMIT, also has a path toward the northeast of the Caribbean, although at a distance of about 150 miles. If we look at the long-term forecast, once it moves toward the northeast of the Caribbean, many have asked if it would threaten the southeast or east coast of the United States. Although this is a long-term forecast with a large margin of error, you should know that a trough system will be located over the eastern and southeastern United States. This should cause the future Hurricane Lee to take a northward path, staying far from the east coast of the United States. At the moment, it seems that there is no threat to the United States. This can be clearly seen in the ensemble members of the European model, where all of them maintain that path over the North Atlantic waters, only posing a threat to Bermuda. The ensemble members of the GFS model also show a northward path over the Atlantic, threatening Bermuda but not reaching the United States. Well, that's all for this forecast update. Since the models have been very consistent in their forecasts, I will likely be recording the next video during the afternoon or evening hours of Tuesday, unless there is a significant change in the forecast that prompts me to record a video during the morning hours of Tuesday. With that, I bid you farewell.